Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Tableau in two minutes. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to create an animated time series graph. We're going to use some data from the uh, it's some economic indicators, global economic indicators. Uh, there is a link to this data set in the video description if you want to download it and follow along. But what you really need is uh, some data with two different uh, continuous measures um, and one uh, discrete dimension. So what we're going to do we're going to use the annual sheet if you're following along. Uh, we're going to rename this period since that's 1960 on. Uh, and then we're going to go to the first sheet. We still need to do a little bit of data cleanup before this will work because, as I said, we want two different, uh, two different discrete, sorry, one different uh, discrete value and then two different measures, two different continuous measures, which we can use here. Um, all of these are different measures. So we're going to take all of these and then we're going to convert them all to... We're going to change the data type first. They are decimal numbers. So we're going to convert them all to decimal numbers and then we're going to highlight them all again. And we're going to drag them down onto measures right here. That should also convert them to continuous. It's done that. Uh, and then we're going to take period, which is actually our year, and we're going to drag period up here onto the dimensions shelf. All right, uh, now we're pretty well, uh, pretty well along. We're ready to create our visualization. We're going to take period, drag period onto the pages shelf. You'll see that we start with one sheet that is for 1960, and we can use these buttons over here to change the sheet. Well, that's good. All right, and then we're going to pick two different measures here that we want to use. I'm going to pick uh, beef on one axis, and then I'm going to pick chicken on the other axis. You'll see that now we have a scatter plot with one point on it. And what we can do is if we start from this period here, we're going to turn up the speed nice and high. These three buttons here control the speed. And we're going to press play. And you'll see now that our dot moves about all over the place, uh, tracking where in each year the price of chicken and beef was. Now, that's not particularly helpful, if I'm honest, because it doesn't really show any history. So we can't see what the trend has been. But fortunately, we have a handy little button down here that allows us to show the history. What we're going to do is we're going to select showing the history for all marks, which will mean we don't have to click on it in order to uh, highlight it and make it show the history. Uh, we're going to allow it to show all periods. There's only one mark here, so this doesn't get too messy. If you have a lot of different data points, then uh, we might want to change that. We're also going to show both the marks and the trail. So that's going to leave us a dot on every dot. And then it's going to show a little line joining all the dots together to show the order in which they went. Then we're going to change the line to be a dotted line. Uh, we're going to make it a little bit transparent. We're going to move this transparency down just a hair as well. That way, as we create new points, um, they will... Uh, gradually fade out and they will also be a little bit transparent to make it a little bit more obvious where the current point is. All right, having done that, we're going to go ahead and press play and you'll see that it jumps around here and we can see trending over time how the price has moved, starting off down here, moving around a little bit, gradually going on, on there, all the way up to the top and ending up here in 2016. You can also do this by adding a uh, dimension to the marks card. So if you have something that splits out different uh, things, like if we had uh, maybe a country or something like that, we could use that to separate these out and we could have multiple trails going all over the screen. Uh, very cool once you get it to work. Thank you for listening. Uh, this was a great little episode of Tableau in two minutes. Uh, please leave any questions you have in the comments. There is a link to the data set to do this in the video description. And if you like what you heard, please subscribe to the channel for more great Tableau how-tos.